Here is a video of the lower body warm up that I do before lower body days. Um, so I start off with some lunges here. I mostly do this on my lower body days, but also on any athletic movement days. Um, I do some side lunges as well. These actually do a really good job of warming up the hips and quads, and I switch about halfway through. Um, so on my more athletic days where I'm running yoke or sandbag, I will do more running after this warm up. For regular squat days and deadlift days, I don't really get into the running portion of the warm up. These are open the gates. These do a really good job of telling you if you have any weird pain in your hips uh, that you wouldn't notice during a normal warm up. And this is just the opposite of uh, doing closing the gates. These are movements that we would warm up with in track practice. Uh, it, when I was coaching the track kids, very common dynamic stretches. Then I get into some slow butt kicks. Um, I start off slow with that and the high knees just because I am not quite warmed up. This isn't necessarily a high knee, it's more of a skip. Um, but when I do it faster, I do the high knees. I usually do these a little bit farther than what I'm doing here. You can see I'm doing a little bit faster on the high knees here. Um, but just for the sake of this video, I'm doing a little bit shorter distance. Then I get into leg swings, especially on squat days. Another thing that can tell you if you have any weird pain or tightness, but also just a really good warm up. So I do these frontward to backward and also side to side just to get my leg moving in every direction that I can. Another thing that I would do if this gym had access to one is a uh, hip abduction and abduction. You could also do that laying on the ground. Um, I always do all my warm ups uh, with this arching and rounding of the back from a dead hang. Not only does it help you warm up, but it feels pretty good too.